Hi everyone, I wanted to make a quick video in case you are not familiar with how to use Padlet. So when you log on, this is what is called your dashboard. It shows you what Padlets you currently have. You can see these are the ones that I own. These are ones that I have contributed to. So you can go to the gallery here and you can look at some different examples. Most of these examples can be remade as templates. So if you find one that you like in here, you can use it as a template. Otherwise, you're going to want to choose Make a Padlet. There are three different Padlet options that I wanted to go over with you today that I think would be great for this challenge. The first one is Canvas. I think Canvas is really neat because it allows students to connect ideas or uh, connect a question with an answer. So when you start a Padlet, the first thing you're going to get is this sidebar on the right that allows you to modify your Padlet to what you want it to be. So here's where you would put your title. And if you want to add a description, you could put that there. Wallpaper, if you click here, you get a whole bunch of different options. You may want to do something kind of fun, or you may want to do something that is not as busy in the background, so it's not distracting. You can choose uh, if you want the posts in the background to be dark or light. You can change the font style. You can choose an icon. There's several choices here and your icon really just kind of goes right up here. This I would probably choose um, unless you want to allow posts to be anonymous. If you choose this then it will put the uh, name of the person who's making the post right there on the post. Hopefully you wouldn't need to use this but you may want to turn it on just in case. For collaboration, this is a personal preference, I think, in depends on how you're using your Padlet. If you want a collaboration type Padlet, then you might want to turn on comments. This is where anyone could comment on anyone else's post. Um, if you're wanting to just use this as a strictly like kids are making comments and asking questions to you, the teacher, and you are going to be the one that responds directly, then you may want to turn the comments off. I kind of think the reactions is kind of a neat option. You can choose several different things. This one is like, so the kids could click the little heart to show they like that post. You could do the stars where they can give the posts, they can rate them one to five stars. That's up to you. Then you click next and over here is your privacy settings. Most likely you want to do secret. This is makes it between you and your students. You want to make sure that it says those with access can write. You're wanting the students to be able to post so you want to make sure they have that ability. You have an option to require moderation, which means you would have to approve all of the posts before they're put up there. So again, I think this is a personal preference and depends on what you're using the Padlet for on whether or not you choose the moderation option. And click next and it's done and ready for you to start posting. So to create a new post, you click on the little plus down here in the bottom right hand corner and it'll pop up what looks like a little sticky note. So the first person would put their post up there, the next person might do another post, and then you might have a third student Then what's cool about Canvas is the linking. So the original person may see that this post and this post go together so they would right click and say connect to post and it gives you an option of which post you want to connect this one to. So 
I said, this is a good one to connect it to, and it draws an arrow to it. Now, anywhere that you move this post, that arrow stays connected to it. Now, say this one connects to this, and then this one connects to this. So then you would right click, connect here, and so on. Another thing you could do to kind of guide the comments and questions if you choose is you as the teacher could create several posts and ask the students to link ideas to those posts that you created. So that's one option. And you can see here I put the, I have the star rating, so you can rate it. They could rate it however they wanted to. The other option I wanted to show you is the stream option. So same thing as before. You have all of your options here. Um, you can choose whatever you like. This is a different option here than on Canvas. So this is the new post position. Do you want the new post to appear first or last? So do you want the newest posts to come up to the top or do you want them to stay like in a chronological order? So that's one thing that is a little bit different. Again, you can have the comments and the reactions. I'm just going to move through this quickly since we did this with Canvas. So now you have the stream. This is the same type that we use during Chromebook rollout. So somebody would make a post and then other people could come in and make comments on those posts and it would keep it in a stream straight down here. So let's take a look at our, I still have our rollout back channel from Chromebook rollout. So you can see there was a post made and then there were two comments underneath it. You can make just a general comment to everyone. So this may be an option that you like to use The last Padlet option I want to show you, well, as you can see, Padlet free version only allows you so many Padlets, so I need to go in and delete some of my Padlets so I can create a new one. So the last one I wanted to show you is the shelf. I think this one is probably my favorite to use in the classroom. So let me get something light in the background. There we go. Okay, so the shelf actually lets you create these columns. So as a teacher, you would go in and create different columns of thoughts, and then you would have the students post below it. So you could do something like, I have a question about, don't forget to hit save. Something new I learned today. So one thing I really liked about today's lesson. Most important thing I learned today. And then something for them to do, write one question if you were writing a quiz over today's material. So you would set this up before the class period started and then the kids would go in and throughout the lesson or at the end of the lesson, you could say, I want you to comment under three of the five 
columns. You may want to require one comment under every column for every student, whatever you choose to do. So then when they are going to post underneath the column, they just click under there and they would write their post. And so I think that one is also really neat and really useful for the classroom. The very last thing that I want to show you is how you can turn off postings and then you can post this into Schoology so you and your students can go back and refer to the Padlet and all the questions and all the comments that were made. So right up here on share, you click there and it's going to pull up your people and privacy and your share and, and export and embed options. So we want to be on the people and privacy. And then right here it says those with access can write. That's what we have it on right now so that the students can post. You want to change that to can read. This makes it where posting is no longer allowed, but everything stays that was already posted. So we're going to click save on that. And then we're going to go over here to share, export, and embed. So then you can choose embed in your blog or your website. So you have two different options, really. This one up here will put the whole Padlet into Schoology. This one down here just gives you a preview of it. And when you click on the preview, it takes you to the Padlet website. So I'll show you both of those and you can just choose whichever one you would like. I think that's really just a personal preference. So I'm going to go to Schoology and I'm going to log in. I'm going to go to my practice course here. And I'm going to add a page. Then over here, on the far right, you have these two little dots where it says switch to HTML. You want to click that and then you want to paste that code in there and then click create. So this is the one that put the entire Padlet right in there. Um, and so you could go back and you don't have to click on anything. It's right there for you. The other option was the preview card. So I'm going to copy that code and I'm going to go back and add a page. Again, exactly the same way. I'm going to click on the HTML and I'm going to paste that code in there. So that one looks like this. Um, and then to get to the Padlet, they would have to click on it. It would take them to Padlet in a separate window. And then this would be the Padlet. One other thing I wanted to show you is some of the different options that you have over here under the share settings. So you can also export these Padlets. You can save it as an image. You could save it as a PDF. If you choose to do that, you could save it as an Excel spreadsheet, a CSV. You can print it out. So you have several different options on how you want to share it. I think probably posting it in Schoology in one of those two ways we just looked at would be the best. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions about how to create a Padlet or how you can use it in your classroom, please don't hesitate to ask.